All right, we're back again with a new project. Like I told you guys, I'm waiting for the rest of my batteries. And folks, the batteries are here. This is a, a Ford Focus lithium battery. This is a 48 volt, 68 amps, a 5P14S. Total of this battery is uh, 3.5 kilowatt of power. 3.5 kilowatt hours is sitting right there. So if you can see, these batteries are configured. They are um, 5P14S, 5 parallel 14 series. So these are the batteries, uh, if you're curious, and like I told you guys, we are here in this channel to um, make re renewable doable. So let's check the voltage because it's kind of a little bit weird for me. I'm not used to this. So here is another pack, a small pack. I think that they split it like here. I think, I don't know if they cut it in a way it's configured just individual or the way how maybe it's the last pack on the, um, on the Ford to complete the, the string. So this is what, um, they did. So this is a one pack is one pack here. As you can see the leads. So it's one pack here, one pack here, one big pack here, as well as a little one here. I decided just put it this way. At least you guys can able to see exactly what I'm trying to do here. I think this pack is supposed to be on the other side. But if you look at the uh, look um, the cooling system, which is a liquid cooling system, I think it's water cooling system on this. There are some holes back there that um, it has some notch. Let, hold on, let me just show you quick. Okay, here are the hoses, and uh, you see this a little pack right here. I can able to detach that if you see. So I just want to make sure this one is attached to this. It will sit like this. Uh, Okay, sorry. It will sit like this, um, like permanently in a way I'm going to be able to utilize the battery or the way I'm going to uh, store them. See this one? So I just decided to go this way. I can still take this pack here. I can still take this pack from this. Okay, remove this one and take this one closer. And plug it to here see that gap right here that's why the liquid cooling was going to cool the batteries and this side here you see I can probably you put it on the last end here to plug in there stay tuned so I'm gonna take sorry about the light I'm facing the lights right now uh, my lighting system so if I can take this and just plug it right there I think that will do the trick let's go back at the front so we'll get better lighting all right you guys just saw me configuring the batteries here so um, I put that one in the last corner and if you look at it closely it looks like these are the the sensors battery sensors there's a sensor there's a sensor temperature sensor and um, let's check the voltage of each. This last pack is going to be a uh, different voltage compared to the others because it's just a little pack to complete uh, the one old circuit. Subscribe, like, and share from the channel here at JW Solar USA. So let's check the voltage here. I still have my voltmeter here. Um, let's check it and see. So right now, we're going to start with this, is the positive here. Let's just stick it right there. Time being, and stick. The batteries are frozen. It's cold. When they brought them in. Okay. 
Um, Here is the voltage reading the 7.54 volt on that little pack. See that pack right there, the last one with the orange? This one here. And we're going to test this, supposed to be reading about 15 point something, uh, 16, 16, sorry, 16 volt. All right. Let's check this out. Here is the middle pack right there. You guys can see it okay this one here reads about 15.8 volt let's try the other one which is this one here It reads again 15.8 we're going to the last one here 15 15.8 15.8 15.8 so this last the first pack 7.5 four that's a little pack to complete the 48 volts so folks this is this is uh a chevy sorry ford focus lithium ion battery this is a 48 volt configuration 68 amp hours 5p 14s which is a 5.3.5 sorry 3.5 kilowatt hours so it comes with the bus bars here are the bus bars. I have three of them. So to interconnect here, positive to negative, positive to negative, positive. Okay, sorry. Positive to negative. You see, from here to here, this is a, this is a positive right here to negative. It's another positive here to negative. So we're going to end up with the two ender that's supposed to give us the 48 volt configuration. Stay tuned. Let's do the, the bus parts and see the voltage. And they even sent me the, uh, these are the um, BMS connection or BMS cable in here. Uh, these guys, um, they are treating me really well. So I really like that. And these are for the BMX, uh, BMS connections. So from there, you can see where they cut it from the car. So I can just able to do the BMSs and get them all configured right. So this one sits here. And let's connect the batteries. So I already got one side off. So we're going to end up with a positive on the right hand corner. Right here, we're going to end up having the positive here while the negative is going to be here. Boss bar sits right there. Screw this one down. All right, guys. Uh, this will be the last one here. This is the tool I'm using. It's kind of cool. You know. It's a 10, number 10, 10, milli, 10 millimeter, as you call it, and uh, it sits right there, the bus bar, they're all configured right, and after that, we got our 48 volt configuration right here, 
So tighten this thing up. They're still cold. It's kind of moisture on the terminals because the batteries are throwing out. The house is kind of warm or hot. So let me bring you back to the voltage test. Stand by. Now that the batteries are already configured, so let's check the voltages again and see what we have if we're going to have our 48 volt configuration. So I'm going to try to set it right there. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, if you can only stay. All right, see. All right, let's test it. Let's see, is we're going to the negative negative post here. Let's loosen up this and use some little some tricks here. Make sure this probe stays right there. Oh. Yes, that's right. Okay, we're reading at, uh, at first when I put it, we're reading at 53.5. So it's a 52.8 volt. Let me tighten up this one and show you guys. Maybe I got it. 52.8, that completes our circuit. So this one is a little boost, the orange one. That's a little pack to give the um, 48 volt configuration. This is uh, 48 volt nominum. This is the, the battery is now at 52.8 volt. Is that not cool? Really cool. Well, guys, we've done it again and we just wasted another um, 12 minutes of talk time here. So look at this, all these things, you can just lock them up cover the terminals and these two I can't even figure it out how they they get attached to this one old thing I can't understand because the way it's set up there's no way I can see the way they sit I don't know so see I don't get it but anyway maybe it's from another pack but anyway, everything works well, and stay tuned, subscribe, and like. That's a 52 point something volt right there at uh, 3.5 kilowatt hours of power right here from Ford Focus lithium-ion battery, 48 volt, 68 amp hours, 5P14S, 3.5 kilowatt hours. That is it right there. That's a good battery. Thanks for watching. And subscribe, like, and share to the video. Love you guys all. And I think these guys here, let's do it and see what we're going to get out of this. Make sure everything is uh, properly uh, plugged in to the system for the BMSs. All right, folks. And this one, we just plug right on the battery see that and one of these will plug to i think is this the battery sensors supposed to well anyway all right this one plugs right here sideway There we go. So it just keep continuing the process here as we go all the way to the end. That's how they plugged. Guys, so far so good. This is how we already got them plugged in. 
I think these other ones goes to the other batteries. I can have they're all eight. You know, one, two. Okay, here is five. The other ones are five, and the other ones are four. It has four cables here, and these ones are two. The two two plugs on this one easily, and this one the, gets the uh, the five and five at the bottom. So, and they all plug into the sensors here. I think that's the battery sensor. Yeah, they stick on the side of the battery. So this is how we round up the video and just get the other stuff right here and connect to your BMSs and whatever. It's going to work. These are things for the other string. These are all in five spins, five up, five down. So it's 10. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Stay tuned.